Hi, I'm Claire. I've organised a rally in conjunction with the National Day of Climate Action here in Frankston for those who live on the Mornington Peninsula and in the Frankston area so that we can join with those meeting in the city to express our solidarity and support that we echo the message that we want stronger action on climate change and we want it now. Hi, well I'm just here today and I chased up as many friends as I could because I just think it's such an important issue and not enough people are listening. Today we are voicing our ideas and concerns so that our elected representatives in Canberra, Spring Street and local councils can learn from your grassroots activities. This afternoon you can hear from local activists who have voluntarily given up their time and energy to help the understanding of climate change cause and to work for a better world. I'm a mum, I've got a couple of young kids, I'm a local um, and I'm very much here in, this, in that capacity. As Bill McKibben, founder of the climate movement 350.org says, it's time to stop changing light bulbs and start changing systems. And that's why we're here today. I also want to recognise and, and honour the Bunurong people who managed and took care of this land long before we came along. And in the same breath, I want to also recognise some of our own really important environmental heroes that are here in this crowd today. So my aha moment was when I was doing turtle research in the Indian Ocean and starting to learn about the difference um, in the sand temperature, the nest temperature that creates in the males or females and suddenly realised that we could lose all of our turtles that could become extinct in one generation because they will all be born male if we have a two degree warming of the nest. I'd like to make a confession though, I'm, I'm an ex-politician, ex-local government politician and, and mayor. Um, but during that term, the 12 years that I was in council, I, I learned a lot about the environment and sustainability from the community. And as a leader, I took all that information on and, and then shared that information with the community. And so I joined the local biosphere I uh, became a facilitator with the Transition Towns Network and Sustainability Street. I joined an organisation called Be The Change. Hi, yes, I'm from Pearsdale. I'm a mum, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, and um, I am a member of Transition Towns. I'm also um, a member of the church. The developing world must stop our environmental vandalism. Finally, someone is saying what it is. It's environmental vandalism that we're doing. We're not developing for economic growth. We're environmental vandals, and we need to acknowledge that. The point is that people have to band together. You have to stick with each other. Certain organisations have to collaborate with each other in terms of making a change, in terms of getting your voice heard. We've heard that there are 25,000 people gathering in Melbourne. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> and also about trees, urban forestation. Twice as many people died from the heat wave in the lead up to Black Saturday than they did from Black Saturday. Yet we have a state government legislating to allow us to chop down all the trees. Go figure. So I really would love to see the greening of Frankston, green roofs, green walls, the forest in everyone's backyard, and uh, and just everyone getting together, sharing the word, and engaging with others. I believe that no one cares more passionately and more deeply and more lovingly for our planet than God Himself. So we need to tell Abbott that we want to stop the pollution. We want a better life for us. And we want a better life for our grandchildren. People are gathering, making their voices heard. We need stronger action, we need it now. It's my deep hope that this National Day of Climate Action will mark the beginning of something new and something that is desperately needed to bring the change we need so that our children and their children can inherit a habitable planet and a safe climate. We could start really putting pressure on Frankston Council to develop a green wedges plan. How can we possibly turn a blind eye to the degradation of the earth to the suffering facing our brothers and sisters, our children, our grandchildren, ourselves and our earth in the face of climate change. Because I'm a father and I'm a grandfather, I want my grandchild to live on a planet where there is no more extinctions and the air and food and water doesn't make her sick. It's a day of action, it's about actually doing things. We need our leaders to, to lead, we need them to see us 
to see the community taking the initiative to be the change we want to see happen. As a gathering of people with deep concern, whatever our beliefs, whatever our faith, we join hands in solidarity and in sincerity in imploring our government from the depths of our hearts to choose generosity instead of greed. You're all being asked to send a text message with your email address and postcode to a mobile phone number. The petition reads to the Prime Minister Tony Abbott, Opposition Leader Bill Shorten, uh, CC Environment Minister Greg Hunt, Shadow Minister Mark Butler. Scientists know unequivocally 97% of climate scientists say climate change is occurring and it's human induced. Already Australia is feeling the impact with 123 weather records broken last summer and the hottest 12 months on record. I hope today boosts your level of courage and confidence that together we can make a difference. My name's Lee Eustace, I'm here uh, supporting uh, the move for the push for climate change and the green weed is a part of our critical part of our environment. Every part, every piece of green weed that is reduced is removed. It's certainly uh, an impact on uh, the carbon footprint. My sister-in-law has family in the Philippines just near Tacloban so it's a very dear issue to my heart at the moment. All her family are homeless. Um, and this is because of climate change. This is my home and please respect it and protect it. Aloha. So we've had a great day, we've had a great turnout, in excess of 200 people we think, uh, getting together and there are a lot of people that have been chipping around this issue of climate change for decades and I think they were really encouraged to see a groundswell of local support, that people are stepping up and realising that we all need to take action in our own lives and also force the point and have our voice heard to ensure that action happens at a national level so that we can participate with other nations who are desperately wanting to see change happen.